Hello again, everybody. This is Kevin. Uh, today I'm going to show you how in disguise to create a fly through previs utilizing a camera and then how to export that as a video so you can mail that to your customer. I'm not going to bother building anything on my previs. Um, you know, you know I'll do. We'll give you some George Costanza. Gotta have some Costanza. Okay. So I have some George Costanza and I want to send this to my customer. So what I want to do is I want to create a camera fly through so I can look at different angles, almost like a drone and have that uh, go through. So to do this, we're going to create a layer. Uh, Control L is the hotkey. And towards the bottom of our layer types, we have what we call a pre-visualization layer. And we're going to use one called an animate camera preset, animate, camera preset, animate camera preset. I'm going to build this layer. So the way this is going to work is we don't need to build every single frame and location of a camera for the fly through. We're going to build specific key frames uh, uh, or at least known points of our cameras with positions. And then we're going to keyframe those together and then disguise will animate everything together for us. So when we look at the animate camera preset, we see in the upper left hand corner, I can either use my local visualizer camera, which is the GUI, or I can build additional cameras for the fly through. Uh, that's if you want to be really fancy. Uh, I'm just going to do my visualizer camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my presets first. I'll build three or four of them. So where it says position none, I'm going to left click none and I'm going to create a new camera position. And I'm just going to call it position one. This would be a camera position. And now look, my GUI resets. And now I can move my GUI around for my visualizer camera. And I'm going to hit copy values from visualizer. And all this data is going to fill in based on the location of my visualizer camera. I'm now going to build my second position. So I'm going to build position number two. This will be camera position. And same thing, everything resets. I'm going to have this one go to the other side. I'm going to hit update for visualizer. And now I'm going to build my position three. Camera position. And I'll have this one go. Oh, I'll have it go up here. Pretty. Great. So now that I've built the presets, now I can animate them together. To do so, I'm going to click the little stopwatch to the left of the parameter of the layer, which is the position. And it's going to open up the keyframe editor. So here I can now select what position I want to be at which particular frame. I'm going to um, go ahead about 15 seconds. I'm going to have this go to position number two. I'm going to go ahead another 15 seconds and have this go to position three. Then I'll go another 15, go back to two, and then I'm going to have it end on number one. That way it can be a full loop. And now if I did this right, we're going to watch. So I'm going to hit spacebar to play. And now it's animating between these sections. So if I want it to be faster, I'd move the keyframes closer. If I want it to be slower, I'd move them apart. I could add additional presets as needed and everyone's happy. So I'm gonna watch these go, la 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 la. So for example, if I want to make this faster, I'm just gonna move this keyframe up and now it's gonna be a faster animation. Now go boom between position two and position three. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. To uh, remove a position, you just right click on the position in the keyframe editor and it will go away. Great. So I'm happy with this. And now I want to send this off to my client for their approval. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export this section here. To do so, I'm gonna look at where my, uh, my playhead is on my timeline and I'm gonna hold the shift key, shift key on my keyboard. Now I can select and highlight the section I wish to export. I'm just going to do 30 seconds to make it fast. So once again, I did the shift key and selected the section of the timeline. I can now right click on the gray highlighted section and there's going to be some new elements here. Uh, right feed movie, right stage movie, right animation movie. I'm going to write this as a feed, as a stage movie, excuse me, because I'm on my stage feed right here. I'm going to call fly through. I'm going to hit OK, and now it's going to animate through. Now it's OK if it's a little choppy here. It's going to interpolate all the data together, blah, 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 and try to make it as smooth as humanly possible. And 
good enough for government work. So I'm going to open up my D3 manager, open my project folder, and there's now a new folder here called output. I open up output, here's my stage, and sure enough, here is the video. I'm going to open this in VLC, and now here's my video playing back. Yay! The default is 1280720p as an MP4, but you are able to change all of that. To do so, you right-click the D3 in the upper left-hand corner and go down to Project Settings, and there's a whole section here called Movie Output about your fly-through previs. You can change the codec, uh, so it does embed audio with particular codecs MP4, the FPS, the resolution, um, and all of that good stuff. You can add some uh, time to the heads and tails, and you can even change the encoding option. Cool. So I hope you all find that very useful. It's one of my favorite features of Disguise, and uh, happy pre-visiting to all of you. Cheers.